Welcome back. Now in this video, we will show the author nav right in here, the user nav. Okay, so let us go and do that. Below this container, we will do some padding for that. So right in here, put comma and tag this down. As in fact, as usual, we will go with the dot only. Gonna set the left to 10.0 isn't we on the left side okay you guys will notice it whenever we will test the app now let's move further in here child and right in the child we will have column widget right in the column widget we will set the cross axis alignment that property cross axis alignment with a star okay now in here we will say children take this down now we will have a text widget in here okay in here comma and take this down scroll it down now in the text widget we will say author name there we go that we just created before okay now we will say author name is that equal to null then what we will do that in the if we will show empty string so there will be nothing in case of if the author name is equal to null and if the author name not equal to null only in that case we will say else and that in the else we will say author name with another chart put comma now we will do some style for that as usual text style right in the text style we will have to set the font thread so font thread we will go with the dot bold put comma and now we will set the font size we will set it to 16 put comma and then also we will set the colors we will go with the white one that's fine put comma also we will show the location for the company so right in here first we will create some height between the author name and uh, the location that we are about to show so in here we will give the height to 5 and put comma in here now right after in here tax widget in here comma and tag this down you will say location that one okay put comma now we will do some style for that that in the style is usual text style and then in text style we will set the color colors dot gray and to this add the null check now we will add the const modifier just to remove those yellow lines so the code will be clean then Just let me see the location company that yeah, we just created before. Okay, in here we are getting that location in which we just assigned it. Okay, before and right above in here we are getting that name. Okay, we get that and we assign this to the author name. That's why down in here we use it. Okay, the author name and also the location company. That's why we wrote it like that and it will get whatever the name will be and also the location so i hope you can get the idea now and that's all the code for the author name and also we show the location okay that we just implement now if you guys didn't hold to load the app just simply hold to load it from here just click on it you guys will now just notice the output okay click on that any other job there we go with the name and location okay so it's working totally fine and you guys can see the result right here and 
if I show you the location for the design mullig it's span also let me show you that right in the database file store here we are right in the jobs collection you can also see that in here the location span and if you go to the users collection and here the design mullig okay and there you go with their location span so now I hope you can get the idea and that's how it works and basically that's it for this video right from the next video we will work further so see ya